Hey guys, welcome to DevTech Finance. In this video, we would be covering the topic fire insurance. This video is a part of general insurance module, so I recommend you to watch all other related videos to this. So let's start with the introduction. Fire insurance is a form of general insurance which covers and compensates for losses and damages to property incurred by fires. So in case any damage or loss, financial loss which you have incurred because there is some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, catch of fire which has damaged your property. So that would be compensated and coverage would be provided if you have taken fire insurance policy. So fire insurance is a form of general insurance. Now all that is non-life is considered as general insurance. For example, vehicle insurance, uh, then health insurance, marine insurance, all those are non-life are considered as general insurance and fire insurance is one such type. So it provides you compensation in case, in case if there is any damage to your property by fire outbreak. When a property is covered by fire insurance, the insurance company will pay out in the event of loss as covered under policy. Now it becomes important because whenever there is a catch of fire, you can't estimate the losses because fire can destroy a lot uh, of your property and it may outbreak at a vast amount. So you may incur a huge amount of financial burden which would which which won't be certain for you to pay at any particular point of time. So it's better to take fire insurance which will provide you compensation in case any such event occurs after estimating the loss amount and depending on the policy which you have taken. Fire insurance first came into existence after Great Fire of London in 16th century. So this was the origin from where fire insurance came into existence in uh, it, which was a historic movement when great fire of London occurred. It was very devastating and very destructive in 16th century which killed about 70,000 to 80,000 of inhabitants after the fire broke from a from a shop from a shop and it spread across the cities and created a lot of destruction. So after that fire insurance came into existence and it became necessity of everyone to get it to safeguard against any such losses. Now let's see the coverages and exclusions. So what all perils are covered under fire insurance? So first is loss due to fire. Any loss which is cast due to fire, you can that would be covered under fire insurance policy. Fire due to lightning. Now if lightning outbreaks and any fire occurs to your house, to your property damages, so that would be covered as peril against fire insurance policy. Then any explosion, any bomb explosion and any sort of chemical explosion which is causing fire, that would be covered Aircraft damage, so many a times aircraft damages causes vast fire explosion which, uh, which creates a lot of destructive property damages. So that is also covered under fire insurance policy. Now any fire caused during riots and strike, so the people uh, during riots and strikes, what happens? The vehicles are put at fire which causes damages to many uh, people's property. So that would also be insured against fire insurance policy if there is any missile testing failure causing fire, any bush fire or maybe fire due to not natural disaster creating a devastating impact on people's life. So that all things are covered under fire insurance policy depending on the policy which you have taken as fire insurance will safeguard the property you wanted to safeguard against. Then let's see what all are the exclusions. So any loss or damage caused by war. So any uncertain event like war happens and loss or damage is caused uh, by the war. So that won't be included in fire insurance policy because that is very unexpected event which is not considered in fire insurance policy. And if it occurs, it causes a high amount of devastating effect which cannot be compensated by insurance companies. Loss or damage caused by nuclear activities. So again, it uh, it creates such a havoc and devastating effect, which is spread, which is spread at a huge across the cities and countries. So it cannot be covered under fire insurance policy. Loss or damage to the stocks and cold storage caused by change in temperature that doesn't comes under insurance policy coverage. Loss or damage due to overrunning or electric or 
uh, overrunning of LA of any electronic machine so that is also not covered under insurance policy now let's see fire insurance claim procedure so any individual who is insured who has taken the fire insurance policy must inform insurance company as early as possible either online or by calling on the toll free number which is 24 by 7 available so that is the first step which you must took in case uh, there is any fire outbreak in your home or any short of your shop business or property so you must must first ensure uh, to inform the insurance company as early as possible second is you should contact the fire brigade and the police uh, so that the whole uh, the the whole area of uh, fire can be suspected and it can be the the further procedure can be carried out so second thing is you must contact the fire brigade and the police third is provide relevant information to the surveyor or claim representative appointed by the insurer so as soon as you would be contacting your insurance company they would be uh, they would be sending surveyor. Surveyor would be someone uh, from insurance company's side who would be coming and uh, and surveying the whole loss amount that you have incurred due to fire explosion. So what all damages has been occurred, what properties has been cast by fire and what all sort of things you have lost due to that fire outbreak. So that all would be uh, surveyed by that claim representative and he would find out the estimated amount of loss that you have incurred in all those damages. The surveyor then analyzes the extent and value of loss or damage as I already mentioned. Submit the duly filled in claim form and other proofs and photographs. So after that the survey is completed you can submit the duly filled claim form which would be uh, claim form uh, which will mention that you are asking for such a claim amount because you have according to the policy you have incurred that fire loss the loss due to fire and thus because you have taken fire insurance you will be filling out the claim form and you will be asking for the coverage amount which the insurance company is obliged to pay you the claim process takes anywhere between one to three weeks to estimate the coverage amount to be provided. So generally it will take this much of time. It depends on the insurance company and their procedure as well. And they, then you, they, you would be provided with the coverage amount to cover your com compensation, the loss and damages which you have incurred due to the outbreak of fire in your property, ho house or any other area. So what are precautions to avoid fire losses? So that was in case you have incurred fire losses and you have taken insurance. So that will be safeguarding you by providing financial compensation. But here to avoid, what are things you could do to avoid any short of fire losses? So first is provide adequate means of escape so that the disaster does not impact a lot. So what are precautions you could take so that the impact is less? So first is you should provide adequate means of escape. So mainly you have seen in shopping malls and many such business outlets where there is emergency exit made. So that is because in case if there is a fire outbreak, there, there can be areas to escape which would be reducing the damages to life of people. Then install smoke detection system. So smoke detection system will be uh, if it is installed it would be uh, giving a pre-signal which would be specifying that in case uh, that, that there is chance of any fire causing and smoke is coming from any area. So install smoke detection system which will help you in avoiding the fire losses. Then maintain smoke separation system along with detecting you must have smoke separation system. So many a times uh, most of the damages happens because smoke uh, creates a uh, creates a kind of environment where visibility go, goes to the lesser level and thus you won't be able to uh, see out things clearly and thus damages goes to another level which is of very high amount so maintaining smoke separation system and detection system will help you out in dealing with the visibility which is uh, which which would which affects the during these fire losses Fire alarm and fire extinguisher is another thing which uh, there sh which is must to be kept in order to avoid fire losses or to deal with or to deal with any uncertain situations like that. Conduct regular fire evacuation drill. So fire evacuation drill is conducted where you are uh, you, where you are uh, where you are uh, given lessons on how to uh, how to 
make the environment where you can escape from the fire losses and what all safety measures one should take so conducting regular fire evacuation drills helps a lot in in avoiding any any such situation and dealing with it so that damages impacts uh, at uh, lesser as compared to the severe which it happens in normal course of action use flame redundant materials in interior so using flame redundant materials which do not cause fire uh, so that the effect can be again reduced ask local fire brigade to assess safety so these are some of the precautions and measures which you could take to avoid these losses or to deal with such situation in order to make the impact minimum in order to keep the impact minimum so that the damages and fin financial losses are not to that extent which creates a burden on you and your family thank you for watching this was all for this video do like and share my videos subscribe to my channel devtech finance thank you all